The views expressed in this presentation are those of the hosts and guests and do not represent the views of any lodge, grand lodge, offended body, or any other person or persons whomsoever. I'll sit in the corner and look cool and be like, what up? <laughs> That's me. I don't want to talk about you either, Marty, but here we are. Just because my style isn't that I truly oh, regret this already. I regret this. A ten of beer, faithful dust. Oh, well, man, it is great. I can, I can feel this. That's assuming anybody who watches the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> the five minutes that I watched, I really did enjoy it. Welcome to the Every Freshman of Sonic Video Podcast. I'm your host, Wesley Reuter. As you can see, everybody's here. Let's get to know everybody. To my right, we've got... Will Anfell, Worshipful Master, Elmhurst Lodge 941. Far left. So he just said, Worshipful Master, all super calm, like we just do his installation and we shouldn't give him a big round of applause. <laughs> like, I swear to God, three days before this, we're all at Elmhurst. Yes. <laughs> Installing the uh, most adorable, tiniest little Worshipful Master we've ever seen. I tried to get him a fun, small I'm head. fun-sized, not tiniest. Yeah. Fun-sized. Okay, fun-sized. Ooh. And um, my name is Marty. I feel less important now that Will has a title. <laughs> you are also a past master, and so am I. I'm Yoshi from uh, Villa Park Lodge, number 1113, past master of Villa Park 1113. Uh, actually, every one of us here is a past master. Yep. So, uh, that's cool. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. And our guest today is John Sansone, the grand eminent. Uh, right. right. <laughs> Right, right eminent. Right, you say it because I'm going to. Right eminent up. grand commander of the, of the Knights Templar of the State of Illinois. Well, John, thank you for coming on. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. I'm sure you're a big fan of the show and have logged on many hours of watching it, right? Yeah, at least three. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I have it under good authority. John doesn't miss an episode. Yeah. He's got it set on a smart device. <coughs> when we drop a new one, you know, he puts on the uh, smart TV at home and he really enjoys it. He never there misses an opportunity to scroll past it. Nope. You know what? Hey, Corp said it the best, though. You know, the five minutes I watched, it was really good. <laughs> so, uh, uh, but John, welcome. Thank you for yes. coming on. It's Thank a you. pleasure. Thank like, you. This is going to be great. I'm looking very forward to this episode. So. so, I know we have a bunch of questions here that we want to ask you. We're going to see if we can actually get through all of them or most of them. But uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. About myself? Please. Okay. Um, I'm past master of Evergreen Park Lodge. Uh, I'm past sovereign master of Kuran AMD. I am the uh, the uh, general director of the uh, uh, Yeoman of York for, for Illinois. Uh, what was that last one? Yeoman of York. What's Yeomany? It's a small group to start out in Indiana, and uh, it's starting to gain a little bit of traction. Is that an Indiana word or just Yeoman? No, it's uh, it's been around for for you know, a couple of years. Okay. <laughs> Never heard of it. Yeah, yeah, that's why I had to ask. Yeah. Uh, past past commander of uh, Joliet and uh, Mitzpah in Oakland. Uh, past high priest of Joliet and and Logan chapter in Oakland. Past thrice illustrious master of Joliet and <laughs> Temple Council in in Oakland. Uh, let's see what else. Um, and the, I'm in the KYCH line. Oh my gosh! Oh yeah. wow! Yep. Uh, see, that's probably enough for now. <laughs> John, yeah, jeez. Uh, John, do you have oh, yeah. time to do the, oh, this second. interview? Wait, and and I'm a uh, past monarch of Ali Bad Grado. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Hey, yep. That's awesome. I think the only thing yeah. that leaves is we're gonna have to get him to the high twelve, right? Yeah. Yeah. High right. twelve. Yeah. All right. Here we go. <laughs> we're all. Part of the same commandery. We are. We are, yep. we are all we part are. of the same commandery. Yes, we are. I mean, <laughs> the last episode we recorded was the day I got my order. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's yep. uh, other than Grotto, that's the only body or, or lodge, whatever you want to call it, commandery that we're body. all the members. Yeah. Of. Yeah. yeah. That's the body. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Come to think of it, that's pretty amazing for us with all the time that we have. <laughs> so, first off, right away, why did you join Freemasonry? Why did I join join Freemasonry? Well. My grandfather was a Mason. My dad wasn't. Okay. That is okay. such a common story. Really? Yeah, all the it time. really is. Yeah, yeah. My, my dad never really joined anything, per se. Uh, I had a neighbor that was a Mason. Uh, and then uh, my best friend was after me to join the Masons for about five years. And I finally said, well, all right, I'll go to, they had a uh, welcoming dinner for 
friends and family and stuff like that. So I went to one of those, I, and uh, I met an old-timer there, and uh, Jim Carty was his name. And uh, he convinced me that it's not, I didn't believe my best buddy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but that, uh, that Jim Carty, he's got Jim some Carty, yep, yep. yep. And uh, that night I joined, uh, you know, filled out my petition, and, and uh, about... Uh, Six months later, I was I was raised and took off from there. And a couple of weeks after that, I joined New York Right. Okay. Was, was that, that in Evergreen Park Lodge? That was Evergreen Park Lodge. So you have been really with the same lodge from then till now. Yep. Wow. That's actually that was, really impressive yeah, in its is. own way. It yep. Is. yep. Evergreen's um, met at a couple different places. Right? Yeah, Evergreen used to meet in, in Evergreen Park. Evergreen Park Lodge it is not Evergreen. It's Evergreen Park. There's, there's an Evergreen Lodge. So you okay. got to be careful. Uh, but Evergreen Park Lodge. It used to meet in Evergreen Park. Then it uh, moved to Tinley and met in Tinley for quite a few years. And that's where I was master. And then it moved to Oak Lawn. Huh. And okay. it's been there for the last about five years. Oh, you know, John, I have a very similar story of how I became a Mason to yours. Some, you know, person that I called my best friend. Person of me less than reputable reputation. You know, that was a mistake. You know, uh, hey. You should, you should join us with me. You should join us with me. <laughs> <laughs> I was already in, but actually, really, that credit goes to your wife, <coughs> not me. Uh, no, I, I was like, hey, you should check this out for like two years, but then eventually your wife was like, just go with him, or we'll never stop talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> that is not what happened. But he still hasn't stopped talking question. about it, even after you joined. You know, I got to tell you, my best friend, though, he and I were talking about, you know, maybe we'll get into one of the Grand Lines or something like that when we retire. Well, he went off and died on me about seven years ago. Oh. Okay. I'm sorry. He was gonna he was gonna go in the commandery, and I was probably gonna go either in the in the chapter or the council. But uh, yeah, well, that's I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. I thought you were about to do some fun anecdote, like ah, he bought a boat and I never saw him again. <laughs> yeah, he, no, he just no. had to hit me with the pre-Christmas yeah. gut punch. Yeah, he, got, he bought an island or something like that. Hey, I, know, I keep hearing that from somebody. And he or you are gonna make that announcement. True. So, no, yeah. and he induced, introduced me to my wife too. Oh, I, wow. he was still my best friend. So. Awesome. Really? <laughs> but I guess that's really kind of interesting that you mentioned, you know, your your friend, rest his soul, was more interested in kind of, you kind of saw him going into commander and you maybe going into a chapter of council and who you are, the yeah, guy for commander. I off, at, at the time we were talking about it, I often thought that the commander was so strict and uh, the chapter and the council were a little bit more loose, you know, fun loving. Mm -hmm. But then, uh, the more I got into the, to the into the commandery, uh, uh, I became uh, a, a, a district commander, and then uh, got in the bottom of the line, worked my way up. And I'll tell you one thing: I've met some of the best people throughout the state of Illinois, going through and doing all the inspections. That you just wouldn't believe how great these people are, and I've made a lot of friends for it. Awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, that's great. So, what made you choose? Uh, Grand Commandery line. Well, the more I hung around the Commandery, I said, you know what, this isn't as quite what I thought it was. <laughs> okay, it's actually kind of fun, uh, and it's uh, it was something that just kind of grew on me, and uh, something I, I turned out I really enjoy. Were you a military guy? Nope. 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 Okay. Nope. You know, actually. You know, I actually, I, I just fell apart. And I was just what I was thinking, but you should probably tell the story of how you thought it was and how you saw the differences, because I think a lot of people are faced with a very similar look on commandery. Okay. Like, I don't think your story is that unique, and this might be your no. time to help some of the guys right yeah. now. Yeah, this I mean, is I interesting. Haven't, cause haven't just joined. You know, I'm, I was, I was knighted. I was knighted in uh, in Oakland, and it was it was at a York Rate Festival. Okay. So I went through and I got all my council degrees, or my chapter degrees, and my orders. All in one day. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. By the end of the day, my head was going. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like, I can imagine. Wow. So two weeks later, I got my council degrees. Okay. Two weeks after that, I went to my first inspection. It was my buddy was, was Commander Joliet. Okay. He says, come on out here and, uh, you know, well, you know what? It looked like nothing like what I'd just been through. Okay. And I was sitting in the corner. I, 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 he told me, just sit back in the corner and watch. I'm sitting back in the corner, and I said, I got no clue what's going on here. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Hey, I think a couple of us still don't know what's going on yeah. around here. So, <laughs> so I, you know, at, and from that experience, I tell everybody, if, you know, if they've gone through an inspection or something, on, or they when they get knighted, 
try and go out and see what goes on. There's a lot that goes on behind the scenes, mm -hmm. uh, especially at an inspection that the commandery does that you really don't see as a candidate. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, it's, it takes a lot to to really absorb what the messages are and uh, get the enjoyment out of it. Yeah, and it was it was yeah. really cool when you know a couple of weeks back when you know I got to go through my order to be able to actually before actually becoming a town planner being able to sit in on the inspection and like not having any idea what was going on and then all of a sudden it's like all right candidates you can come in and sit down yeah. and I think we're all looking at each other going like well what are we what, what's going on and they're just like yeah just be quiet and watch and just <laughs> getting getting to see all the floor work and everybody marching around like just incredibly impressive and intimidating and terrifying. Yeah. Now, see, yeah. I always wanted to be a Knights nice Templar when I joined Freemasonry. Yep. And then I was at Grove Lodge, and they had pictures up, right? And it was a degree night, and I see them wearing chain mail and, and the old outfits. I'm like, wow, whoa, I, I want that. And so then when I came in, I was like, did I join the wrong thing? Wes is looking around, can I get my armor? <coughs> like, are we yep. going to lay siege to the pub next door? Like, what's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where, where's the guillotine and all that? <laughs> well, at, uh, the uh, Illinois uh, commandery, Grand Commandery of Knights Templar reports to the Grand Encampment, which is actually an international body. Mm -hmm. And they set what the uniform codes are. Mm -hmm. So there's the, there's the full jacket with the military emblems and things like that. That's the Class A uniform. There's the uh, cap and mantle, which is uh, it's a white uh, cape cloak, yeah, and, cloak. and then the and, uh, and a pillbox hat, right. and then you could do it in period costume. Okay, so, yeah. those are the three the three yeah. things that you're allowed to to perform an order uh, in Indiana. Doesn't it have Indiana have a very famous commander that does the period yes. with the chainmail? Yes, in fact, they did it in Illinois a few years ago. Uh, there was a, a uh, joint uh, Wisconsin, Indiana, and Illinois. Uh, day and each one of them picked oh, wow. uh, an order to do, mm -hmm. and they did the order at Temple in full chainmail. Oh, oh, wow, I would have loved to have seen yeah, that. Yeah, I would like to see that. I still haven't seen <coughs> that. You know, the, to go on more with uh, regalia and whatnot, uh, wasn't it passed again just recently that we could wear uh, aprons, correct? We wear aprons, that's yeah. correct. Is that throughout? Through all the, all of them? Okay, um, the Grand Encampment has allowed you to wear an apron. Okay. Okay. If the Grand Commander approves it. Okay. 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 Uh, right now, because the Grand Commander is at rest, uh, I am the Grand Commander. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So I'm allowed to. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, I am the Grand yeah. Commander. Yeah. What <laughs> 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 a bold statement. Yeah. 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 Maybe, Everyone maybe is the Grand Commander. Feel so like we should yeah, give him the gavel. You know, <laughs> the power comes, but so does the responsibility, and so does the blame. <laughs> okay. You know, it, it's but. It's my sole discretion to make decisions within limitations right. on what goes on. So Would you I, like to make that decision here now? For well, I've, I've already published what, what, what I'm allowing. There's two different, well, actually three aprons that the Grand Encampment approves. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, the only one that can be used in public is the one that has the crown and the uh, cross. Okay. Okay. I'm not sure if I've seen that one. You've no, seen that. You, you've, yeah, you've seen, seen that. Have yeah. I? It's 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 the sure. Yeah, the in hoc victus, you know, yeah. one. But uh, the words are on there. It's just yeah. the cross and the and the crown. Right. Okay. 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 It's a triangular apron. Yeah. Oh. Okay. The other yeah, they're all sitting there thinking that's different than yeah. the triangular. One. No, the other no, two cannot cannot be used in public. Okay. Okay. According to the Grand Encampment. So what I've done is I've issued a general order allowing commanderies to use an apron. I'm limiting it to that you can only use it in a uh, closed asylum. Okay. 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 Um, and I'm only going that far because it has to be approved at a grand conclave to do anything more. Okay. 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 Question. Uh, are we, because a lot of us, we use a lot of social media, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the social media apps, and especially with, with the podcast being on, uh, you know, the internet. Uh, are oh, we allowed? I just want to say we use a lot of social media as the stupidest. Like that's like you may sound so uncool, but that's fine. <laughs> Whatever, because it is. Social media is not cool. Anyone who thinks it's cool, you're not cool. But also, the cool guy. What I'm trying. What I'm trying to get but also, at like is, and subscribe, please. Uh, are we allowed to be photographed in our regalia? Okay. Or no? All right. Is that it's it's up to each grand commander uh, to decide whether you can be for you can wear your your class A's or your. Uh, Cap and mantle in public. Okay. 
All right. And usually what we do is we issue a general order number one, allowing it to be done in public. The only, the only one that you're not supposed to wear in public is the prolet's uniform. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you might get in uh, some weird looks if you're just walking around in that one. Right. Yeah. But uh, that's the only one that, that the Grand Encampment doesn't allow. So if we, if say we, we, we were at a meeting and we took pictures and we had our aprons on or we had the cap of mantle on. The aprons are a problem. The, okay, there we okay. go. So yep. the apron could not be in a photo. Right. Got to okay. order those out or take them okay. off. Okay. Yep. All right. Yep. Because the, the general order that I issued does mm -hmm. not allow the apron to be in public. Okay. It's got to be with only Templars. All right. Okay. Interesting. Now, somebody may come up and put in, uh, uh, you know, a, 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 something at the conclave that we can wear them in public, but it would be only the cross and crown one. Okay. okay. All right. It wouldn't be the cool one. Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, <laughs> yeah. No if you know, no. you know. No, no, no. We're yeah. And if you don't know, stop by Carl Hearn's page. He hasn't shut up yep. about anything like that for weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Carl. Love you, Carl. You know, you touched on um, the 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 conclave, and there's been a uh, you know with the whole call the conclave. Um, Oh, you're hitting he's him with the. Oh, uh, he's hit me. I'm, I'm going to, you know. <laughs> we, gave, we gave him 20 minutes of nice, warm, yeah, fluffy. Nice Tell warm us up. about I mean, yourself. I know, I know we're going to have to maybe pause during that, but, uh, huh? you know, I would like to touch on that a little bit, whatever insight you can give us for that and then, you know, other viewers. Okay, the, the, the call to conclave is, is dealing with the grand encampment. Okay. Okay, each body has a conclave when. Uh, uh, commandery meets, that's their conclave. Yeah. Grand commandery meets uh, at least once a year, that's a conclave. Okay. Okay, the grand encampment meets every three years at a, a triennial conclave. But if nine grand commanderies call for a special conclave, then the grand commandery or the grand encampment has to hold a special conclave. And, and that threshold has been hit. Right. That's what I was Actually, it's been exceeded. There oh, were, okay. There's officially, from what I understand, is right now is there's 11 grand commanders that have called for a special conclave. Okay. Okay. All right. And the grand commander or grand master of the grand encampment has said that the grand conclave will be, or the special conclave will be held in Fort Wayne with the department uh, conference for the Grand Commanderies of, of Ohio, uh, Indiana, Illinois, and Michigan. Well, they're more parented with that, just to have a proper venue <coughs> to host it, right? Right. Yeah, uh, it's, yeah. Kentucky's also in there. Uh, in oh, the, yeah, I in mean, it department, but. probably makes things logistically a lot easier when you can just jump onto something that's already on the books. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. the last department, command, uh, department meeting of the year, uh, so it's, that's probably one of the reasons. Okay. So what, when is this taking place? And it's also the largest. It'll be the second uh, Saturday of March. Okay. Okay. It seems a little far away, but I, I, I don't know. At least it seems like it's been talked about throughout the social media and everything yeah. for well, the last couple you gotta, months. Well, you got to think of the logistics of it, though. <coughs> I mean, they, you know, <coughs> you got to give everyone time to, you know, like True, get get uh, vacation time in or or PTO yeah, or whatever. But I don't know exactly how long and this has been going on. The call to Congress. Well, yeah, I mean, without maybe okay. giving us your the, thoughts on it, maybe the, just the like the high level been, of what it is. Yeah, the triennial that uh, kicked off this whole thing happened in the middle of August. Okay. 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 Uh, right around the first of September is when the Grand Master took actions that kind of kicked it off. That there's going to be a call for okay. special okay. conclave. And right. John, not to say what anything is or what should or right. shouldn't be. Generally, someone on top made some decisions that aren't super popular with the group as a whole. Right. So they're calling a meeting to rectify it. Correct. That's fair. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, it, there's there's no there's no hiding it. The uh, Grand Master removed the Deputy Grand Master. Okay. 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 With yeah. not demonstrating any valid reason for doing it. Okay. Okay. That was one thing. Yeah. I, okay. I he that. appointed. He bumped the line up, which is what the uh, code for the grand encampment says. That if you get an absence, then everybody moves up one, and the grand master can appoint somebody to buy the line, which he did that. Okay. Okay. Now, the few things that I read, and one other podcast I listened to, uh, said something about it. And please correct me if I'm wrong, but 
the Grand Master felt that it was within his power because of how the bylaw was written to do that? That's his interpretation of what the uh, Constitution and bylaws of the Grand Encampment say. He, his interpretation is he had the right to do it. Mm -hmm. Okay. <coughs> That's being questioned by a lot of the Grand Commanderies. All right. Okay. okay. That he has that power to do it. Okay. Well, to, but, to, yeah. spe especially somebody who was just elected two weeks before. Well, right. yeah, told, that's, right. Oh, it was that wow. soon. Yeah. I knew it was yeah. soon, but yeah, I didn't that know was it was like that a, soon. To my understanding, oh. that was almost his yeah. first move out the gate. Yeah. Now, okay. from, again, from what I read, I don't know if I 100% agree with them, but I am not in shoes. However, the interpretation of a law is that's why we have a Supreme Court in this country. Mm -hmm. You need to interpret things. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so in this case, when I guess the big question is, was the law interpreted property? Who's the decision? Who's the judgment maker there? It is the members of the conclave, which would be the uh, grand commander, uh, past grand commanders, uh, the deputy grand commanders, the uh, captain or the uh, generalissimos and captain generals, grand captain generals of each of the grand oh, commanders. No. I have a feeling if Facebook is accurate, that guy's going to have a rough weekend. <laughs> <laughs> you may have. Yeah. I mean, so uh, have. essentially everybody's going to come together and they're going to talk it through and they're going to vote to either say what he did was okay or they're going to say what he did wasn't okay and well, slap there, him on the hand? There's certain issues that the that they call the conclave address. And uh, there was another one where 77% uh, of the people at the conclave in August voted to recognize this group, the, the uh, Great Priory of, of America. I heard about that too, okay. yeah. Okay. And he overturned that. So he overturned a supermajority. So he made 77% of the people Ooh. a little grumpy. Right. Wait, okay. it passed with a 77 vote, percent vote and he overturned it? He overturned it, okay. He's now kind of backpedaled a little bit, um, but... I, uh, yeah. I, I don't mean to uh, quote a chapter degree out of uh, order, but that's not good law. <laughs> that's that's not good law at all. That is not good law. That is not good law. That is not that's going to be determined. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. yeah. true. No, I, feel like, I, should, I feel like we should do a live thing from the parking lot and be like... <laughs> <laughs> like, like, everybody we, we, tune in. We, we, yeah, we'll be waiting yeah. for like, you know. Here's uh, an update. Messages, it was updates. not good law. You're like, all right, everybody, we got an update. <laughs> uh, like waiting for the Jesse Smollett. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The, the People's yeah. Court. Yeah. yeah, there we go. Yeah. Outside doing interviews. You know, I wasn't inside. What was the atmosphere like? I'm not sure how that's going to go, but I guarantee you every popcorn vendor in Fort Wayne's about to make his money that weekend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, well, with that, we're going to have to take a break. So um, we're going to do that, and we'll be right back. Ship boing, boing, boing. And we're back. So uh, we were talking off camera about some things. And John, you said, uh, <laughs> <laughs> not those things. <laughs> John, you said you had a couple more points that you wanted to make yeah. about uh, Graham Encampment. Yeah, the, the issue with the, uh, the Great Priory of America. It's a, I keep it's thinking a, you're going to say Priory of Zion for yeah, what? Yeah, no, the Great Priory of America. Uh, it's a, uh, it's a, it's a group of about 50 guys. I, know, I, I think there's a hundred. Okay. You're allowed two per state. So I hear 150. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, you're allowed two per state. Okay. So it's not a very big group. Is, is this a Masonic body or no? Uh, it's recognized by, by the Blue Lodges. Okay. Okay. Uh, by, by, I think just about every, uh, Grand Lodge in the, in the United States. Uh, it was recognized back in, in 1910 in Chicago. There was a uh, big meeting of, and I can't remember the term they called for it, but it was where they recognized in, international bodies and everything like that. Okay. Okay. And uh, it came up in uh, Thank you. about uh, 2011. We got important things going on here. Yeah, yeah, we got Sorry, drinks guys. to pile. Yeah, Sorry. Say hi to everyone, Joe. Hello. <laughs> 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 Just had to make sure. Oh, that's all right. Didn't want to poison you. Yeah, she gave you the one with a little something special oh, in it. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Thank you, Joe. Thank you. Does anyone else need a water? I brought an extra. All right. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah. Just leave it here. We'll figure it out. Okay. We'll figure Thank it out. So it's all right. It'll be the community water. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Now, back in, in around uh, 2011, the uh, Grand Encampment sued uh, Grand Lodges 
over this whole recognition of the Great Priory. They're suing of, them of over this, the of this group of 100 people? There's, there's two guys yeah. and they're suing over yeah. it? No, the Grand Encampment sued over it. Wow. Oh, okay. That sounds like a weird yeah. use of energy. And uh, the Grand, Grand, uh, Grand Lodge of Illinois threatened to not recognize the Grand Encampment. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Take and, whoa, whoa, whoa. Which Grand Lodge? Grand Blue Lodge of Illinois. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Grand Lodge has got oh. some teeth. Yep. Oh, yeah. The, the Grand Lodges are, that's that's the governing body for everything. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. I can't get over no, this. that's the end all yeah. be all right there. there. Yeah, that's all. There's a hundred guys in the country, two in a state, mm -hmm. and the Grand well, Encampment it, it, was it that comes, angry over it. It comes to the Grand Encampment, okay, and the, and the issues that the, uh, that the Grand Master's, you know, got his problems with right, now, right at the moment. And, uh, but if you look at the at the membership of the Grand Commandery of Illinois, you can see a progression of of it going down mm -hmm. up until the last couple of years where it started picking up again. Okay. Hmm. Okay. And uh, I'm sure it hasn't been really openly supported by the Grand Lodge, and I hope we do that. <laughs> the guy over there sitting on the couch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna break the fourth wall because yeah. when you see the senior grand warden episode, we're all gonna have different shirts on. Yeah. I guess, I guess we both on the same night, so everyone that keeps jarring that well, way. He, he's here to find out what goes on at what he's. He's gonna report back. So when, so when you know that, you know, but. In our but next no, episode, it'll be the no longer at refreshment because yeah. we've all been kicked out of no, this he, episode. <laughs> he's here to pull our charter, <laughs> and and it's it was put to bed, and then it and then was reopened uh, at this last uh, Grand Conclave. The, at the last Grand Conclave, or the Grand Triennial, it was put to bed, okay? Yeah, they're okay, they're, they're not interfering with anything that the Grand Encampment's mm -hmm. doing. The bodies devoted on it, and then the Grand Master overturned it again, opening up that wound. I, just, I don't understand okay. how there's a hundred guys in the country and <laughs> so much energy in time, and you're suing people, so now there's money involved. No, no, they didn't sue people. No, I mean, the Grand Encampment the is Grand suing Encampment, people. Like, well, the Grand Encampment's... 100 guys, like, you're raising lawsuits, because... Uh, what, Grand, like, what, Grand Encampment's a little bit larger than the Grand Lodge of Illinois. Yeah, but still, they, okay. they got nothing better <laughs> yeah, to, they got nothing better to spend their money on than getting angry that the two guys, what, like, did somebody's next-door neighbor do a bad job of mowing the guy's lawn, and they found out he was one of these guys? Well, see, it's one of those bodies that you have to be asked to join. Oh, uh, okay. There's, there's only two guys. <laughs> and you're only about two guys out of state of Illinois. He's still hung up on two guys. <laughs> yeah. how, how upset can you be when it's it's two guys in a state? Okay. Personally, I don't care if I ever get accepted or get asked to join it or not. Okay. Right. I mean, I think the two guys are in. I don't like your odds. <laughs> John, have, you, have you met the two guys in Illinois? Are they good guys? They're not made. They're they're not made public who they are. But uh, oh. It's two guys, and we don't even know who they are. <laughs> oh wow! This is okay. Got a got a good idea though. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> right. Whoa, I've never seen you so upset. Yeah, oh, you're you're like, like, yeah, yeah, you are like, <laughs> all, you are so fired up right now. As Masons, all the conspiracy theories about us running the world, we created the vaccine, I made COVID. There's yeah, two guys totally and we don't even know who they are. Yeah. And we're suing. Yeah. Yeah, have you had a drink yet? I'm going to sue them too. I want to know who the two yeah. guys are. Oh, God. Okay. Marty, you're yeah. one of them, aren't you? No, because we're going to get sued on the show. Yeah. No. No, they, so this equipment is even paid for yet. They've tried to bring in another group from Switzerland into Illinois, uh, into the United States to replace this group. Was that IKEA? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's Sweden. Uh, IKEA, gotta, Sweden. You got to put okay. the two guys together. Yeah, but I mean, you know, and and they're trying to get recognized. Okay, and that's where the fight comes in. But to ninety-nine point four percent of the population, it means nothing. Okay. There's just a hundred guys in the country that it means yeah. something to. Okay. I didn't even know it existed until I listened to this podcast. I'm like, what? And I'm like, doo, doo, doo. Yeah. I'm like, oh, like, so. All right. What's going to happen in March? I don't know. Uh, the Grand Master has issued some threatening orders. <laughs> you know, and uh, it's like, you know, if you're going to call for the special conclave, you got to pay for it. Okay. <laughs> of course. You know, and it's going to be hundreds of thousands of dollars of to course. pay for it. Okay. Yeah. And you then, need a president. Then it went down to well, that's two thousand dollars. Well, yeah, I was like yeah. to get a, to get yeah. a to get a banquet room in Fort Wayne. I think I could handle the bill on that one. So is yeah. Glad to do a hospitality room at this thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the, the turnout is similar to the Grand Lodge, which 
you know, it's yeah. it's it's pretty hefty duty. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah, cool. but uh, cool. so I mean, and it, you know, there's been other things that are, that are tied into it that are kind of ancillary. Uh, the past grandmaster, uh, he all but accused him of of conduct unbecoming at night. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's. It's, it's going to be tough, I know. So are we going to, is this just going to be a vote, or is it going to be, you know, a full-out sword fight? Yeah, like is there a debate on the floor? Well, it's going to, I, it's going going to be brought up. for the sword fight. Yeah. I'd like to see that. It's going to be brought up, and he's going to give a chance to defend himself, and he should. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. yeah we learned those yeah. in commentary. Because, yeah. you know, you, you listen to the one side, and the one side's more vocal, but, you know, what's his side? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, even, even if you don't leave agreeing with him, there might be some reasoning that he has or way he's looking at it. You can go, hey, I'm not even 100% with you, but I'm glad you said that because mm -hmm. now I see where you're coming from and let's right. look at this logically. And that's why it's important yeah. to have those type of meetings. No, yeah. you, ha yeah. you have to. There's been plenty of times where we've heard things and seen things done and we're like, all right, we need to talk to this guy real quick. What, what, what's, his, what's, <laughs> yeah. what's his deal? Mm -hmm. And we've been like, okay, we see. We don't agree. Yeah. Or we do agree. Mm -hmm. And we see, we see what you're coming from. And I mean, yeah. from a process standpoint, it's pretty cool because as yeah. the Grand Master, he's the one guy who doesn't need to give his justification to you and I. He's the Grand Master. You do no, he's still, he still got to follow yeah. protocols. He's and, he's still, you know, well, yeah. he still got to follow the rules, and yeah. he's and he serves at the will of yeah. the members and, of the I Grand Encampment. He was fortunate in the, to be in the position of being the guy who gets to interpret the rules, and yep. he thought the rules said okay, but now. The members have called him to the floor, and now he's got to actually give his real reason. He, exactly. can't, he so. can't just hide behind the, well, yeah. I read Bylaw 1, Section 3, and I think yeah. it says I can do this. Now it's like, yeah. all right, well, why'd you actually? For a new Teflar, man. <laughs> yeah, 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 no, yeah, you are so yeah. fired up. This is the first podcast yeah, well, that we've done yeah. since you've been knighted, which I think it was like less than a month yes. ago. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. you are like super jazzed I up. Mean, we, you are. You are one of the most soft-spoken men I know, yeah, and we you live, are like so riled We up live in Illinois, and we all fall under the Grand Lodge of Illinois here, and one I get to see all the drama that happens in other states with their Grand Lodges and the crazy stuff they're doing. Oh, yeah, Grand shout out South Carolina. Hope you guys work that out. Yeah. I mean, the Grand, Lodge, the Grand Lodge of Illinois is super cool. They're straightforward. They're not causing any problems. There's no drama. So to be a part yeah. of finally some drama and some excitement and now to find out it's over two guys... <laughs> You're back on two guys. Back on two guys. I'm gonna find out. Right. You know what? They are. All right. So <laughs> ever, all right. We've been talking. We were talking. I know. Yeah, yeah, we before we started up. this, and I'm just gonna say it. Are you a turtle? Yeah. Bet your sweet ass, I am. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Yeah, we were dying. Like, is he a turtle? I don't know. Just ask him. Mm -hmm. You know, John, I love you in a leadership role. Like, I love most people in leadership roles in Illinois Masonry because anytime you're around, I'm generally having a better time. Yeah. I never watched John walk in with little John, and I'm like, oh, that party just went to crap. I'm like, hey, there it is. <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> all. Oh, yeah. And you know, that's an interesting thing that you bring up. You know, earlier, John, you mentioned that your grandfather was a Mason, but your father wasn't, and you know, we've all had. You know, we've all been blessed to have met your son, and I think it's it's really cool that your son is a part of Masonry. Like, how has that, like, how has your Masonic experience been shaped differently that you've not only been able to bring your son along, but like, you know, you get to sit in open lodge with your son, and that's something that, you know, a lot of guys don't yeah. get to do. Yeah, yep. yeah, a lot of guys yeah. don't get that opportunity. I, I kind of wish I was I was able to to raise him. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't I wasn't up to speed on the ritual, and, yeah. and I think I was maybe a a junior deacon at the time or something like that yeah, okay but uh, uh, it would have been nice to raise him I was able to obligate him in uh, the chapter degrees and uh, that's cool which is pretty cool yeah uh, tell you on the sixth degree uh, that one I was studying quite a bit and he must have seen me studying it okay so <coughs> <coughs> we're at the altar and he's starting to to parrot it back to me before <laughs> I say it okay. so I think he picked up my book <laughs> okay, uh, but uh, no, it's it's been great. Uh, uh, in fact, last night we we did a first degree, and in the closing, we uh, I wasn't the uh, master, but uh, we missed one part in the closing, the, the gavels, and uh, he called everybody out on it. <laughs> 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 That's awesome. Yeah. So, that is awesome. But no, it's, it's great to see how active you are because Monday, uh, me, you, and Mark was off camera were together. At Ali Abad or Ali Abad Rado, I saw. I saw Ali Abad. Ali Abad. Ali Abad. Ali Abad. That's it. Ali Abad. Ali Abad. Ali Abad. Ali Abad. I've been butchering that crowd. Yeah, we've been butchering it. Terrible. Well, hey man, everyone butches our 
to like no chili. end. Yeah, oh, yeah, chili. yeah chili. chili grotto. Chili grotto. Chai yeah, when you go to the big like Supreme means, you'll see all the guys from the Southern grottos. But now are you guys the chili grotto? Yeah. And I, I remember I looked someone in the face super <laughs> yes. deadpan, and I was like, "Yes, we are the delicious seasoned meat and bean grotto." Yeah. And like they just looked at me, they were like, "Well, that's cool." Chili ain't got no beans. <laughs> <laughs> But no, but I love in your island the first degree. Just now you're hanging out with us tonight. So, uh, did they tell you at one point, Mason, or just one night a month too? Month, <laughs> month, <laughs> month, tomorrow night we've got libations. Are you going to be yeah. there? Hot Christmas libations? Yeah, yeah. 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 bringing the wine. You guys going to be there? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, and they then, better uh, be. They and Sunday, what time I, does it start? What time does it start? Sunday, I got a Holy Royal Arch Knight Templar Priest meeting. Oof. So. Oof. That sounds important. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds. Like you it's not code be. for a card game, is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Cards and no. cigars, right? Cards and cigars. Yep. And then no. so you went on for like the first probably three or four minutes of the show with everything that you've done. Like when was the last night during the week you were actually home? Uh, Tuesday. You want to answer that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Should we confirm with the wife? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, actually, what I what I plan to do is I'm not out every night, of course, but. Um, in any one week, I at least try to have one night at home. Yeah, and within the week, so that's a good doesn't one. always work out, but no. so sometimes it gets better. Right. Uh, uh, one thing, because these guys are really into it, and I'm not sure if I want to do it, but okay. you guys got <laughs> some time before you guys get there. K Y C H. Can you yes. explain that a little bit? K Y C H. Yeah. Okay, this is the uh, this is the medal for K Y C H. And this is actually the KYGCH. Okay. When you're a grand officer, they, they put quadrants around the outside here. And uh, for the grand commander, you get a white quadrant. Okay. Uh, chapter, you would get a red. Council, you get a purple. And if you're a grand master, you get a blue. Wow. Okay, there's, okay. Only, there's only two guys that have three quadrants, or one guy, I think, right now that has three quadrants in the state. Uh, there's only been like three guys that have had all four quadrants. No okay. kidding. Okay. That's impressive. Ooh. Yeah. That's really impressive. I would, uh, <coughs> I, yeah, I I would like to add that one night after a few too many holiday libations, not during the holiday season, our current most excellent told me he was going to get all four quadrants one day. But I'm assuming if I asked him now, he, Pat, would, oh, wouldn't remember. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I asked him that in the but, next record. But yeah. to qualify for it, it's, it's a, uh, uh, an organization you have to be asked to join, but you have to have served as uh, master of your lodge. You've had, you have to serve as high priest, you have to serve as thrice illustrious master, you have to serve as grand com or as commander, not grand commander, and, commander. And John, my understanding might be off, but there's only one meeting a year and that's usually during the uh, Grand York right weekend? There's, by, by uh, constitution, they have to have one meeting a year and that's mm -hmm. at the York right conclave. Okay. okay. This year they're planning on doing three meetings. Oh, cool. Oh, okay. okay. And moving around the state. One is gonna be up here in, uh, uh, at the uh, Valley of Chicago. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. They're trying to do one down in Hillsboro because some guy like a Grand Master is out of Hillsboro. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it, hurt, it hurt that guy, you know. Yeah. And then uh, there's one other one they're going to try and do it. I can't remember where it's at, but trying to move it around. Oh, that, then, then it's going to be at the, at the uh, Grand Conclave in, in Springfield. Oh, so wonderful. somebody has to recommend you, or is it like, you guys call each other. Like, I think this guy would do. Somebody has do to recommend good. you. There's actually a form that they have to recommend, and then you have to be accepted by the by the members. Okay. And then uh, you'll get a letter that says that uh, you rec recommended to petition for it. So when they recommend you, then it's got to be voted on. So you got to wait yeah. a year. Yeah. Now just sitting in the chair as master and high priest and thrice illustrious master and and commander and not doing anything doesn't really qualify you to join it. Right. right. Okay. Oh, Wes, you're out, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Couldn't help it. There was yeah. a pandemic. Okay. Apparently you, don't, an you don't necessarily have to do the you know the commander's work and all that stuff, but you got to be active. Okay, and uh, you got to uh, participate. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, no, no. <laughs> I mean, that makes sense. That mm -hmm. really does. Yeah. You know, you you just yeah, you I mean, just don't sh you, you just don't show up to the meetings. You got to you got to be in yeah. there. You got to do the you work. The organization you know, means something. Yeah. It's not yeah. just a participation. Right. Exactly. Now. Like that's why you know that's why I because I you know, technically to qualify I just have two things left to do, and I've I'm not really going for it because I I have not been able to give, in my opinion, the time to uh, council commandery that I want to be, mm -hmm. and I don't want to I, I don't want to get really really into it until I could actually put.
time and effort into it. Mm-hmm. You know, because I've already I've already been master. I've already been uh, uh, um, excellent high priest. So it's just the last two I need, and it's I don't I don't think it's fair. It wouldn't be fair, you know, to like just sit in the chair and not really have my heart and soul into it. You know, no one invited you yet, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't, I wasn't in line. No, I was in line, and I told, yeah, I told them I had a, I had a back No, no, line. I mean the KOSH. No, I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah. Like, no, I, under, I understand, because yeah, I even said to I them, I know, punctuate. you know, we did most of our meetings, probably all but maybe three, over Zoom. I'm like, you, you know, I don't need to be called the past the eminent commander. You know, I, I don't need to accept the title, but you guys are like, nope, you were there. That's that's how it goes. I sure, you served I, a year. Because I yeah. feel like, I mean, yeah. Yeah. there really wasn't much to do and not really you, a you lot to enough, learn bro. on over Zoom. You, but, did, you yeah. did what you had to do, and you right. did enough. But yeah. you know? It's not that you I did won't what serve you could again. Do. But yeah, exactly. yeah, you did what you could do. Yeah. Yeah. True, I've, I've been then, a commander three times. So you, you could do it again. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure I can. I'm trying to get other guys in there so, you know, yeah, we don't have yeah. to keep doing that. But okay. yeah, I feel bad for anyone who was in charge during that. Yeah. Because I was uh, I was Monarch of Shio for a bunch of that, and I, was, I don't count myself because even when, like, everyone was terrified, we were like, let's just have meetings in public parks and just show up with a cooler <laughs> beer and a bag of tacos and we'll just get out of there. And true. Uh, we did. Well, no, yeah, I mean, like, I, I, I've said that before. Anybody who served, who was serving in the East during all of that, even now, really, it, it, it's a rough time. It yeah. really is. You were monarch. I was excellent high priest. You know, like. I mean, the rough time isn't so much now. I can't do what I want this second. Mm-hmm. But how can I long-range plan when no one can guarantee me what the world's going to be in four months? Yeah. It, it's rough. And then the, how do I pace this? How do I do that? It, it's, no. It's just unfortunate. Like to totally find a calendar of events when next month the calendar might be on fire. Right. Yeah. 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 And well, it, it is tough. And uh, you know, going through it on the grand level, uh, you know, I, I even had talks with with uh, the past grand master, you know, Oakley, Steve Oakley. Mm. Awesome. And guy. Uh, you know, he called me up one time. He said he's going to pull my dues card. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I said, well, that frees up a few nights during the week. <laughs> <laughs> right. yeah. Oakley, you've been talking to my but, wife. Does she need me to be home tonight? But we were talking about how we were going to do the uh, Grand Commandery was the first one coming up to do a virtual conclave. Yeah. Okay. And he wanted to get the ideas of what we were going to do for it because they were looking at doing it for the, the Grand Lodge. And uh, so we were talking about it and... Uh, um, you know, and then, of course, when I went in as Grand Commander, uh, Brother Oakley sitting next to me, I said, you know, if you would have pulled my dues card, I wouldn't have to be here right now. <laughs> 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 but, uh, uh, it, you know, and, uh, but it was, it was some tough times. Yeah, yeah it was for everybody. No, it really yeah, was. It, it definitely yeah. was. Yeah. Well, before we close this out, what is the best piece of advice you've gotten in Freemasonry? The best piece of advice, well, you know, I still want to, I want to say one thing, okay? I did a poll at Grand Conclave, and I wanted to, I asked everybody in the room, I said, who's active in their Blue Lodge? Okay? And every single person raised their hand. If you're in the York Rite, and you're active in the York Rite, you're usually active in your Blue Lodge. I only know one guy that isn't active in his Blue Lodge, and that's because his Blue Lodge is somewhere like 200 miles from where he lives. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, wow. But he got he joined the York Rite, and he never really went to the Blue Lodge. Mm-hmm. But the York Rite is, is completes your Blue Lodge, and um, you become, you get, to, you get to work with the candidates hand, you know, hands-on, and you get to meet some great people. And, it's just an uh, enjoyable life. Yeah. I've enjoyed Freemasonry. I know I've enjoyed I, I love York right, Masonry. I, mean, I do too. We're, we're yeah. all it's, so active and yeah. so much so we need another night to do a podcast to tell yeah, you about yeah, it. Right? Yeah. 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 But, uh, you know, along with the Blue Lodge. I mean, it's, oh, yeah. yeah. You know, I, I'm very active in the Blue Lodge. I'm act, active in New York right now. A few other bodies. Yeah. You, know, you get yeah. around. One or two. Yeah. You know but, what? Uh, John, I got one more hard question for you. Yep. Yeah. So, with what you've done, if you could say you would want one thing to be remembered by what you've done so far in the Grand Line and what you've offered the state, what is the memory you want, what is your thing you want to leave with all of us as 
what? certain nights in the state or certain nights globally? Probably, probably the one thing that I'm most proud of is, is we've restructured the uh, charity for the Grand Commandery. Uh, we used to own a, 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 a home for the agent and affirmed, it was called. It was a nursing home. <laughs> what was that term? The home for the agent and affirmed. That was the official title. The aging and the infirmed? infirmed. Yeah. Ooh, I feel okay. like I feel, yeah. I feel like we can't say that one on TV. We're going to have to bleep that out. Yeah. But Mitzvah Commandery, your commandery. Yes, sir. Okay. All our commander. Uh, was actually the, the Grand Masters from that commandery in the, its lineage started this home in Paxton. It was, a, it was a really, for a nursing home, it was a very nice nursing home. Okay. But you can't exist anymore in the state of Illinois or probably throughout any other country as a single nursing home. Mm. Okay. You, you got to have a law firm with you. Okay. Okay. The laws change and everything oh like that. You need a lawyer just to hand out the applesauce. Yeah. <laughs> and well, you know, it's, it's just even to keep up with it. Okay. So we, we sold the home a few years back. And I was really against it at the time, but getting involved, I can see why we did. Um, we've taken the, taken the charity, and first thing we did was we teamed up with IMOS. Okay, we made a deal with IMOS because they have the professionals that keep on what the regulations are right now. We teamed up with IMOS. We said, "Hey, would you guys help us administer our charity?" And IMOS agreed to it, and. If you're a Templar in Illinois and you apply to IMOS, the uh, Grand Commandery's charity picks up half of everything oh, wow. that you, you collect from it. Oh, cool. Wow. Okay. Wow. And at Grand Lodge, I, I think I said it was somewhere between 150, about $150,000 that was given out between IMOS and uh, the Grand Commandery to Templars since we started that. Okay. Which you, you got to be a Mason to be a Templar. Right, of course. Okay, we've also branched out, and uh, we've funded uh, the Illinois uh, Eye, Illinois Masonic Eye Clinic. Okay, we fund them, uh, not completely, but we give them a big chunk of money. We pay for uh, eye surgeries and things like that for people who can't afford it. Right. Okay, at Illinois Masonic. You know. And I got non-FDA approved LASIK. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <not a> story. <laughs> okay, but I mean, you know, and... And that's probably the one thing that I, that I really say that being part of, of that reorganization and, and, and yeah. doing that. Yeah, that'll right last. So. Yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah. that's beautiful. Uh, well, that brings us to the end of our show and one of our favorite portions of the show. Shout out and shots out. Does uh, anybody have one? I know. You know what? Uh, I think we should uh, give that to our guest. You know? Yeah. Do you have uh, anybody or anyone? Anyone you'd like to give a shout out to? To all the Masons of Illinois. <laughs> to all the Masons, Masons of, of Illinois. Illinois. You're here. To most of you. <laughs> to most of you. Yeah, when did they start hanging out plastic? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh, mm. oh man, you shot, you shot that like a pro, John. We all got to learn from you. God, oh, right? Tomorrow Jeez. night. <laughs> <laughs> When you when you toast. Oh yeah, you, you guys know. will see that libations yep. farm. Yep. Yep. All right, everyone, that's our show. Thank you for watching. If you haven't figured it out, you're watching us on YouTube. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram. We are on Twitter. The social medias. The social medias. We're all out there. So um, yeah, like, subscribe, follow us, do whatever you got to do. Once again, thank you for watching, and we'll be back with more. Say it a couple times, yeah. Ship boing, boing, boing.